Hey guys, in today's class I want to teach you how to play the song Bella Ciao in two levels, where the first level is going to be only the melody and the second level will be in chord melody, meaning the chords plus the melody. But before we begin, if you're enjoying my videos, I'm welcoming you to subscribe to my channel, this way you won't miss out on any of my content. So let's start by learning the plain melody of the song and let's break it down into the right hand technique and the left hand technique. When it comes to the right hand, it's very simple, all you gotta do is pluck the strings with your thumb. Now if you want to get it right um, and feel comfortable while playing, try to lean the thumb on the string below, so meaning towards the ground. If you notice what I'm doing on the second string, I'm leaning on the first. When it comes to the first string, there's obviously no string to lean on, so I'm just simply going downwards and slightly touching my index finger on the way. So this helps me remembering where I left my finger so the next movement will be easier to make. A good exercise to help you guys getting the most out of this technique will be take these four fingers, index, middle, ring and pinky, make them relaxed, put them on the body of the ukulele in the following position and simply play downwards with your thumb the open strings. Fourth, third, second, first. Fourth, third, second, first. And then we can climb upwards. First, second, third, fourth. So this is a great one to do if you want to start up the day and just do some warm up exercises. Let's switch hands and talk about the left hand. So for this song, we'll need to use four fingers in the left hand, fingers one, two, three, four, or in other words, index, middle, ring, and pinky. The thumb, make sure that it stays on the opposite side of the neck, supporting the movement. All right, so I want to focus on the entire first section until the point where we reach the seventh fret on the first string. Okay, so right until there, that's where I want you to stop. So let's break down the rhythms and the fingers. First of all, the very first section is a pickup bar, all right? So we have a zero on the second string, zero on the first string, and the two on the first string, and then we enter to the actual song. That's the beginning of the official melody. That's the three on the third fret, first string. So for this part, I want you to use the index finger for the second fret and the middle finger for the third fret. So keep using these two fingers for those frets until bar four, until we reach the seventh fret. So let's learn the rhythm together. The song begins with a pickup bar and you count it like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... So what you have to remember is that your first note is always on three and. That's a very important point, okay? So when I say three and, that's your zero on the second string. So let's try and play this whole section together from the pickup bar until the seventh fret, so meaning bar four. And we stop there. Ready? Let's do it. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three one and two and three and four and stop. Now another thing to remember is keep your fingers as close as possible to the fretboard. So meaning when you're pressing with a finger, don't let the other fingers go elsewhere. So keep them all around the fretboard section. You see, so this is already too far. This is too far. This is too far. So keep them pretty much in line to the string that you're about to play. So if I'm playing this section, So as you can see, all my four fingers, index, middle, ring, and pinky are all in line with the first string. So that's why I can arrive to the seventh fret quicker. So now let's continue learning the song from the fourth bar, from the seventh fret. Okay, so you arrive here with your third finger or with your ring finger. And from this point, you are at the four fingers, four frets position. And what that means is that your index finger is assigned to the fifth fret, your middle finger is assigned to the 6th fret, ring 
to the seventh and Tinky to the eighth. This way you don't have to focus anymore on, on where to go with your fingers. You already created the template. All right, so the only thing you gotta do is look at the score and press. So now I would like to focus on two bars with you, bar four and five. Let's do it together. So we begin with the seventh fret on the first string. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and that's it we stop here okay one thing to point out uh, the eight is connected with the tie to another eight just to remind you or if you don't know what that means that simply means keep your finger on the eighth fret let it ring let it sound so don't press the second eight again don't pluck it all right so let's repeat that section again three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and as you can see my fingers are barely moving it's because of the four fingers four frets position so let's continue to the final part bar six to the very end. So bar six starts with the eighth fret, which is our pinky. It's reserved for the pinky, just as we discussed before, but there is a slight change here. We going to disregard the four fingers position because everything we are going to be playing is gonna shift us to a whole different section of the neck. So the beginning of the neck. So what I want you to do is start with the pinky on your eighth fret and then shift that pinky to the seventh fret, okay? And then from then on, Seventh will be with the pinky, five with the middle finger, three with the index finger. We slide the index finger to the two, we already at bar seven. Then after the two, I reminding you again, keep the fingers as close as possible to the string, even the ones that are not playing. Then stretch your pinky to the seventh fret and then back with your index to the three. Then index to the two, again a slide with the index finger and plug the zero and voila, you are done. So let's try and play this section together and pay attention to the rhythm. I'll be counting pretty slowly, so let's do it. One and two and three and four and 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 so now let's put all these parts together and play the song entirely here we go from the top one and two and three and two and three Good job guys, this was the first level, melody only. And I suggest everyone to start here before looking into the chord melody section because there is a lot of connection between the parts and it will help you to get a lot faster with the material. Let's start with the next section. So for this part, I would like to talk about the melody and the chords. Let's begin with the right hand technique. So for the right hand technique, use your thumb for everything, whether it's plucking or strumming. So sometimes we need to pluck individual strings for the melody and sometimes we need to strum a chord. When it comes to strumming a chord with your thumb, there are two ways of doing it. One is a fast strum and the second option is a slow 
slow strum. So it's more like a harp, a very beautiful, like waterfall-like sound, okay? So if you wanna get that technique, which is, this is the one I'm recommending you to go for, for this song, for this arrangement, try to make your right hand position very loose and try to pass every individual string when you're going down with the thumb. Do this exercise by simply going downwards with your thumb, so from the fourth string to the first, and make sure that your fingers and the right hand are very relaxed. Now let's switch hands and have a look into the left hand. Let's begin with the chord shapes that we gotta use in the song. So the first chord shape is AM which is two on the fourth, zero on the third, zero on the second, and zero on the first string. The next chord is DM, and it's a bar chord. So you gotta take your index finger and press the first three strings. Next to it, add your pinky to the eighth fret on the first string. What is important is try not to touch the fourth string on the way. So when you're using your thumb in the right hand, pretty much strum downwards from the third string. All right, after the DM we go back to AM, but this AM is a different shape. Uh, for this shape, we're not gonna be playing the fourth string, so don't use your thumb for the fourth string, don't pluck it, don't touch it. And so the AM chord here will be zero on the third, zero on the second, and with the pinky press the seventh fret on the first string. That's your AM chord. And the next shape is E7, first fret on the fourth string, second fret on the third string, zero on the second string, and second fret on the first string. And the final shape is F7, second fret on the fourth string, third fret on the third string, first fret on the second string, and third fret on the first string. The first thing I want to teach you is how to connect the first melody notes to the first chord, the AM chord, the actual beginning of the song. So it goes like this. So the best thing to do is to keep your middle finger prepared for the AM chord. So pretty much from the very start, keep the middle finger pressed if you can. That helps the sound and you're pretty much already prepared to play the chord when you're entering to the song. So while doing so, I'm getting the melody notes with my ring and pinky fingers, okay? So for the second fret, I'm using my ring finger, and for the third fret, I'm using my pinky. By the way, another reason why I like to play like this is because I'm getting more sustain, I'm getting more sound out of the chord. I could, of course, use other fingers and not let the second finger press the, that second fret up front, but the result will be that the sound will be a lot shorter and I think a bit less nice. So try to do it together with me. Here we go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. Now for the second and the third bar, there's not so much difference for the fingers. So the middle finger keeps on pressing that second fret on the fourth string and the ring and the pinky do the rest of the work on the first string. So now let's try to connect everything, including the chords, until the third bar, until you arrive at the seventh fret. Let's do it, including the pickup bar. So here we go. One and two and three. and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four good job let's move on so for the fourth bar we can use the four fingers four frets technique where every finger is assigned to a fret so in the fifth bar we still got to maintain the same four fingers four frets position so move to the eighth fret with your pinky then the seventh fret with your ring finger and fifth fret with your index finger so for the sixth bar you're at the am chord and this chord has a little bit of a movement within it so take your pinky and place it on the eighth fret first string and strum supposedly your AM chord, but it's not really yet the AM chord because the pink you will need to slide back to the seventh fret right after the eight, right? So you strum the chord on the, including the eighth fret and you 
plug the seventh fret on the first string. After plugging the seventh fret, you gotta change directions and move towards the beginning of the fretboard. So put the middle finger to the fifth fret, index finger for the third fret, and then we are at the E7 chord. So for this chord, I would like to ask you to use your index finger for the second fret on the fourth string, middle finger for the second fret on the third string, then we have a zero on the second string, and the ring finger you can place on the second fret first string. So after the E7 chord, we move to the E chord, which is a full bar chord on the fourth fret, and add your pinky to the seventh fret on the first string. After the E chord, we go to the F7 chord, but the transition goes in the following way. So take your pinky and slide it from the seventh fret of your E chord to the third fret, all right? So that's gonna be already the beginning shape of your F chord, right? So keep your pinky there, add the F chord, which you guys are familiar with, uh, which is middle finger on the second fret fourth string and index finger on the first fret uh, second string. And after that, add your ring finger to the third fret on the third string. So that's your F7. After that, we go back to the E7 chord, but for this time, use other sets of fingers for the E7 chord, which is the same fingers as your F7 chord because the transition is just easier. So take the F7 chord, shift it one fret back, just the whole position, so your index finger is pretty much left out without any frets, and this is your E7. That's the same E7 as we played before, but just with other fingers. So just because of how the connection goes, it's a little bit easier. And then we are at the very final chord of the song, AM. And now let's put all these parts together and let's hear how it sounds. One, and two, and three. Good job guys, I hope you enjoyed this class and if you did, I'm welcoming you to subscribe to my channel because there's gonna be a lot of cool videos coming up, cool tutorials and covers. Also, if you wanna take your ukulele playing to the next level, I'm welcoming you to check out my Patreon page where I'm doing weekly live classes and releasing awesome ukulele arrangements. The link to my Patreon is in the link below, so check it out. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers.